There we are. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's uh, midday, Christmas day. Santa's been. I've been busy building things, namely a netball hoop, uh, putting two TV leg things together, Xboxes. Yeah. And I had a massage cushion for my office chair. Uh, what else? And the turkey is in the oven, so we've got an hour and a half ish that to go. So yeah, um, I don't know how what it is. Twenty, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Sun shining, sky's blue. Yeah, um, and we're going out for some drinks later on, which is still very odd. There's no <laughs> snow. It's not cold. But we've got the Christmas music playing. Yeah, obviously you can't. No, I'd listen to that because you'll get a copyright and what um, marking. The table set, Christmas crackers. Yep. Yeah. We just unwrapped loads of presents. Yeah. Um, Loved all my presents. Thank you very much. Yes, we've both been very lucky. All of us, haven't we? Yeah, kids have been lucky. So it was our first Christmas, you know, in Australia. It's, yeah. I know, and um, we were also saying this is our first and last Christmas in this house, which is also weird. <laughs> yeah. yeah, next Christmas, different house. Yeah. Still in Cleveland, I'm guessing. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll catch up with you when the turkey's done. <laughs> Christmas mode. You can see the food behind us. So Can't wait. We've got probably an hour left. Um, yeah. There's a lot of roast potatoes in Yorkshire puddings. As you can see, look, we've got some half of Yorkshire's. We're going to find some roasties. And there, there's the gravy. There's the dinner ready. And uh, the sunlight. And turkey courtesy of your box. Yeah, thanks, uh, boss. boss man. Wait for a million things, but yeah, we got got the turkey, five kilo turkey. Normally we have like a massive one from home, normally it's like 15 pounder. So yeah, it's not taking as long to cook. So, more time for uh, gaming. Here we are, if you can hear us, a bit windy, but um... We made a surprise trip to the beach on Christmas day and it had to be done. It's four o'clock in the afternoon, it was 31 degrees I think last time we checked. So yeah, um, Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas. We like to like, send the cars, like we've done Christmas, now we've like fast forward to summer <laughs> in only like a few hours. Weird. <laughs> yeah, here we are, we're just gonna chill out here for a little bit. So yeah, Merry Christmas everyone, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in a bit. Hello again, um, update from the last little snippet we did, um, it's now New Year's Eve. Happy New Year everybody. By the time you watch this it'll probably be 2024. So yeah, here we are, um, it's hot. <laughs> The sky's blue, the sun's shining, and we couldn't be ending 2023 in a more amazing place, right? No, it's uh, what well, the last few days we've had storms. Yesterday we had a thunderstorm to wake up to, which is something I've never encountered before in the morning, but yeah, it's been baking hot. Um, Yesterday was cooler, which was actually quite nice for a change, but. Um, Last few days before that, they were like 
it's up like 40, 40 degrees. And yeah. So yeah, it's been uh, pretty hot. Um, what have you been up to? Um, well, we just realised that we need to register our dog. So if you are bringing a dog to um, Australia and you go through all the stressful dog export process and then get your dog here and you think everything is done, it's not. You need to register your dog with the council. So um, that's one of the important things we're doing in terms of Admin. Admin, <laughs> yeah. Um, it's cheaper if they're de-sexed as well. I think if you look at one of our other videos, like yeah. bring your dog to Australia. Um, yeah, I think you get a concession if they're de-sexed. I think, we're well, not sure if it's all councils, but we're aware too. Yeah, it's only like $28 if your dog is de-sexed and that's for a year and you have to renew it every year. And apparently that's to help pay for like, if your dog gets lost and the council like impound it and try and like find you. The dog warden and stuff on it, I think. Yeah, and also the council provided off the leash dog parks and things. So that's... free free dog poo bags as well, which is <laughs> something you don't get back in England. But yeah, literally, well, where we take our dog, the dog leash off the dog off the leash dog park, they've got like a like a post with just help yourself to yeah, poo bags. Yeah, quite cool. Um, so that's it in terms of admin. Shopping wise, we've just bought a new sofa because we felt like one wasn't enough. Yeah. Um, even though it fitted us all, the dog likes to also sit with us. That's five on a sofa um, and so yeah, we just bought one more just to be a bit more comfortable. Yeah, so that was handy. We've just taken the Christmas tree down. So Christmas is over, we've packed it away. It's in the corner ready to go with our stuff when we move um, in like Easter time. Yeah, they bought it on the Yeah. Um, our move cube. Our move cube is oh, yeah. coming. Yeah. We've got a date, I think it's the 2nd of January. So yeah, that all came through. Um, so yeah, I think again, on our previous video to do a new move cube. Um, we got an hour and a half to fill it up. We've now got 45 minutes to unload it here and the driver is not allowed to help you with anything, whether or not they do or not, I'm not sure, but... It should be easier to offload than yeah. to... Yeah, you haven't got to try and pack properly, yeah. you just literally got to yank everything out. Um, where are we going to put it? Because at the moment we've got no garage here, so it's just going to have to go in the, in the kitchen. Dining room. Kitchen, dining room, slash. Dining room. Yeah, there's enough room, it'll just yeah. be a bit of an eyesore. Be a lot of boxes. <laughs> a little while. Yeah. Um, we also, I think we said in a previous video about the dining table and chair set that we bought, we've now moved that outside to make way for the boxes. This is what you're sat on. <laughs> you viewers are sat on our table. <laughs> Um, the girls got some nice presents for Christmas, so they've now got TVs in their bedroom and they've got um, new Xboxes, so yeah, they're happy with that. And I think we've all got good presents really, so we just moved the other side of the world. We seem to have more um, expendable income yeah. here, don't we? So Yeah, I know a lot of people say Australia's a bit more expensive, I know some food is, but other things aren't. It's, it's again thinking like things are half price. No, I've got to stop doing that. But yeah, definitely some things are cheaper, some things are more expensive. And I was quite shocked at the price of like knives and forks the other day. I was going to buy some extra ones, and I was like, they were like forty-five dollars, which is like twenty-four pound, um, which for me seems quite expensive. So I'm thinking about when we go back to England next year, raiding our cutlery and um, yeah, Boy. bringing it yeah, here. Even those, those things in my head. Chris, wait. Come here, baby. She's covering grass on her head. Chris, come here. That's those things that stick to it. Hello. So yeah, um, another thing, the Redlands, we know, know why it's called the Redlands. Um, yeah, the dog loves the red soil and our floor and bed sheets and blankets do not love the red soil. So our dog was white, she's now like a tinge of red. <laughs> yeah, the brown patches on her are from the soil, Jacob. <laughs> so yeah, um, 
Christmas Day was good. It was very still, didn't feel like Christmas. I was like cooking a turkey and it was like 36, 37 degrees outside. Aircon was on because it was boiling. Yeah. Um, yeah, then we went to the beach. Obviously, you'll see the little snippets we'll stick in the, this video. Yeah, it's um, still not really used to it. No, it's definitely still been that in between Christmas and New Year, you don't know what day it is, like, you don't know what you're supposed to be doing, so you still get that here. Um, but we've definitely been able to spend more time outside and at the beach and yeah. I mean, now we go shopping not to buy things, but to get some like respite from the sun and <laughs> yeah. into the air conditioning. So. I mean, that is the advice as well from like the, the government and the premier here. They do say, you know, if you haven't got aircon, well, like, luckily we have, but people that aren't fortunate enough to have it, they say to go to libraries, go to shopping malls, to like just cool off because literally it is stifling, I think watching the weather and it was like 46 at one point in one, one area so yeah it does get hot I think it's getting used to that as well like early in the morning it's 27 degrees when you wake up yeah and these are things that we're going to look for in our next house as well like obviously when we moved here we were just like lucky to get whatever we got and although we had like a wish list we just kind of took what we yeah. did because we needed somewhere um but things like um we're looking for pools as well we're looking for like a lazy spa that like we had back in england and there's certain rules of if there's more than 30 centimeters of water you've got to have a permit from the local council and the gate the gated act it's got to be gated off basically so whereas in england you just buy a lazy spa or whatever yeah. put it up in the garden job done but here you've literally off a permit yeah so yeah wish list for next house is swimming pool um, air conditioning ceiling fans and with all of the storms that we've recently had and all these like warnings about large hailstones ideally somewhere with like a double garage or, or undercover space for two cars yeah because literally like every time the thunderstorms come they predict heavy hail within we're not talking like little bits we're talking like three inch golf balls coming down so we've had to like literally come run out there i've got some like cardboard boxes left over so I'll literally chuck them on the roof of the car because when you even get a text message from your insurance company saying there's hell in the area take precautions so yeah it does make you panic a little bit thinking you're gonna get bombarded with golf balls and your cars can be dented to pieces but Mm. touch wood um not yet no so yeah we're becoming more experienced than wise <laughs> in our few weeks of living here and um yeah looking forward to what 2024 brings well, in australia yeah we're kind of timed it right we're settled ish we're yeah we we'll find our way around so yeah ready for 2024 so yeah um that's kind of it that's where we're to at the moment we'll Probably start posting again next year. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, with more adventures. Yeah, but thank you for watching. Thank you for the comments. Um, we're really amazed that people like are waiting for our next video. And <laughs> they things. actually want to watch us. So, yeah. yeah, and um, obviously, like we're really glad to be able to um, for people at home, like family and things, to be able to watch our videos and see what we've been up to. So. All good. Yeah, so thanks everyone for watching and your usual line of. Um, like and subscribe. That's the one, it's free. <laughs> Help us out. So yeah, um, thanks everyone for all your support and we'll uh, see you next year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year everyone.
morning. Uh, we're just back from going in the South Bank to check out the fireworks. Uh, it was quite a good display. Yeah, it was amazing. And it was free. <laughs> and the was it the mayor of Brisbane? I think that's what we call him. Um, he laid on free train travel from eight o'clock till five o'clock a.m. So yeah. It should cost us nothing to get home. Yeah, and it only cost us like $7, maybe the equivalent of £3.50 to get all the way to the city to watch the free fireworks. So that was all good. Huh. Um, and yeah, we managed to watch it before the rain came because, yeah, they started about half eight and went on for quite some time, didn't they? Probably at least 15 minutes, I think. Yeah. Like constant bang, bang, bangs. Yeah, they were very good, very loud, very colourful. Yeah. And yeah, literally got off the train, um, went and grabbed a quick Maccas, I know, it's quite a <laughs> very uh, New Year's Eve dish. But yeah, um, yeah, got off the train and smashed it down. So mm. another free light storm in the sky mm -hmm. again. But we're home in the dry and the warm and we're just waiting for midnight now and we're going to give our besties a call back in England and have a glass with them. Yep. We'll use a little glass. We'll see we're a bit further away this time and <laughs> in the future. So I think it'll be two o'clock with them, but midnight over here. Yeah. So, so anyway, um, we'll stick a video of the fireworks. Hope you enjoy and uh, have a good New Year's everyone. Yeah, see you in 2024.